Hey everyone, so welcome to another tutorial and at first I would like to say sorry for the sound in my previous TensorFlow installation tutorial. The sound was awful but I couldn't get better because I'm on another, another computer and it was much harder to configure everything to sound better. So I'm sorry and if it was so bad please read the text version of that tutorial. It's, it's clear and everything should be fine. So. In this video I'll continue the series of it and our goal is to create a TensorFlow object detection model that could detect counter strike go players so I would like that our bot could recognize head and for example target it and shoot but I'm not sure how it will go and anything so just I'm working with it and I'd like to learn it as as much as you do so we'll in this video we'll continue with how to get a screen from the game so I'll have I found the three methods and I'll try three of them and we'll see which one of them is fastest because we need that our game would go as as good as possible without any lags and our three methods are here one of them are standard image grab from pill it's one of the sta most standard ways to get screen second way is I found that there's an interesting library Python MECs and we'll try it and one of another way is I found that Sendex I think you heard about it. Sendex in his GTA 5 tutorial uses to grab a screen and we'll try his method and it requires requires some of the special libraries some so you can get them from P, P1 through to 2 and I'll add all these links to the video description so don't worry and you'll you'll find everything you'll need so at first as you saw i have already made um a screw file so it's totally clean and we'll begin with it and i'll just copy a few of lines that our tutorial would go, go faster and we'll try this so import all of these our tutorial and then grow from pill import grab screen and then what else we need so is we'll try to catch a screen of this size our title would be we'll call it some somehow some dif in different way so we can call it Okay, we'll leave it as FPS benchmark and next is an FPS. Next we can write our display time equal to 2 and yeah, we can try to import this and let's create our function so we call it screen record dot bill image show it will be and next what we'll do is okay we need while true we do everything so let's do like this and yeah Let's take this line. Mm, for now it should be good. Let's try if it works. And if it works, we'll see how to get an FPS from this. So build it. Yeah, and it's working as you can see. But it doesn't, doesn't show any FPS. So let's kill it and let's improve this so what else we'll need is FPS and then we'll need something like time equal to time dot time 
minus start time and we need something like here who will declare the start time so okay let's write start time equals to time okay okay so we need another function so it will be if our time is more or equal to time time minus start time let's print something here fps something like this and here we'll write fps divided by time okay leave this this and here we'll write fps equals to zero and our start time equals to time okay i think everything should work right now let's try it to build it okay we have some errors here that no it's not a problem here is another problem i think let's see forgot this one two one two what it can be oh i i i wrote it a little bad so okay it should work now no 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 print start time time display time time minus start time and display time print in all its syntax what is the problem We have FPS, we have time. I'm not sure. So anyway, it's working. Oh, it's something with local and global variables, so it's not a problem. Let's write that it's global and our global will be start time. Okay. Let's build it. Yeah, yeah. Here it works, and as you can see, our FPS frames per second is about ten. It's not much. It's real, really working very slow, and and as you can see, when we do something, it gets slower. So we need better something much better. So. That's why I was searching for more methods. So let's move on, on them. Let's kill it. And let's move to syntax way. That's a grab screen. So let's copy this function. This will be easier for us. And yeah, we'll need to make a small changes, but that's not a problem. So here we do from grab screen import grab screen okay it should be imported now and here we will call also in some different way grab grab screen or screen grab <laughs> it doesn't matter I'm just walking my way. 
So let's copy this and paste here. Let's command this that it wouldn't do anything to us. Okay, so it uses a little different way of grabbing a screen. So we'll use, we'll, I'll delete this and this and simply write grab screen and the user's region. Region, okay. And this line would be the same. FPS increased, time, everything the same here. With FPS would be also everything the same. So I think everything is the same except we changed this line. So let's try to build it. And okay, what we get here. So you can see we're receiving much better results, much. While we're working it gets slower but not to 10 FPS so we are receiving around 19, we 19 FPS so it's really good, really good. I, I don't know method where we can get 30 or 40 but if someone of you know please let me know, leave the link in comment section somewhere or write me an email or something like that and I'll totally look at it so so it's working and now left our last method it's Python MECs and let's see what we can get with it so let's move and now we'll create one more new function and we'll call it Okay, let's copy all of it and let's call it record m is is okay and it uses a little different way of defining monitor because because it is and I don't know I need to call it some mo monitor maybe that I could use both of them in my file and yeah I'll need to import one more line I see I can see it can't see it here but oh it's here so let's use it yeah let's import it somewhere here save and let's move to our function and also it uses different way it uses this way to grab a screen and we'll write it so <clears throat> numpy as array and yeah and just we'll change monitor monitor cv show it should be sorry <coughs> cv2 image show yeah we can try use the same we'll see what we get and then fps time i should i think everything is the same except we'll again create a new function okay let's save it and comment our grab screen function and let's start <clears throat> okay as you can see we're receiving quite similar results as we were, were getting with grab screen oh it's not so when i'm moving i think it gets laggy oh hell damn it i moved all the functions down okay doesn't matter so there is more of my code but i just i'm coding in background so i didn't want it to close it while reading my tutorial so doesn't matter and as you can see huh, 
there is something different with colors. <laughs> well, I'll check this out in text version tutorial. <laughs> Why it, here it's blue and here it's red. <laughs> it's quite kind of interesting. But as you can see, uh, well, we're talking about send text way and this way. And I think that this way is better because few things because that grab screen method requires um special libraries it's quite so for some of you might be quite diff difficult to install and it requires this additional library file in your directory working directory and if you are using two monitors you can't uh you use a it on another monitor and this way when you're using MSS library you it's quite simple to install you just write pip install uh, MSS and or something like that I'll need to check it on the link but there is ways how to grab script from another monitor or third monitor it's quite amazing stuff and but I still would like to find a faster way how to grab a screen, but well, I I couldn't find. So if you have anything or found or saw, you can leave a comment to the link to that way. So right now I'll stay as it is with this library, and in next video we'll move on TensorFlow object detection tutorial, and I'll show you basics what we'll do next and i think that's it for this tutorial and if you like my video smash up the likes button subscribe and this will help me to grow and leave your questions in the comment section below like my video and see you in the next video tutorial goodbye